Hi, my name is Rob Frank, and this is an update of the tutorial on how to set up OpenOffice in MLA format. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is save. And this is a pretty major change from the first video. I'm going to recommend actually saving as uh, ODT. And later, if you need to have a printed version or another format, I'm going to recommend exporting as a PDF. So I'm going to go through that now. I'll save this as untitled. Okay, so I'm going to write my name, class name, professor's name, and the date. Center the title, indent the first paragraph, and Times New Roman 12 format paragraph. I want to make it double spaced. Okay, so now I need a header of the last name page number. So I'm going to go to format page. Header, header on, and need to make it so that each of the margins is one inch. Oops. Except for the top margin, which is going to be 0.5 because of the header. Okay, here we go. Tab, tab, last name, and then instead of writing in the page number, I'm going to do insert fields, page number, and it should look good. Yep, on the bottom there. Okay, and save. So, not every computer can view ODT format, uh, so I'm going to recommend if you're having to either print it or send it to someone else from a different computer, um, let's see, export as PDF, I recommend lossless, and export. save and now you should have both a where is it regular ODT oh and it's going to open in LibreOffice this is the latest version of uh, it's actually like a cousin of open office and let's go to print preview There you have it. Uh, it doesn't look very pretty, but the <laughs> the edges of the paper you can't really see. And that's pretty much it. So that leaves you with some options. Um, if you're going to upload this to turnitin.com, I'm going to have to recommend a PDF. Again, if you're going to send it to someone else, PDF, or if you need to print it from a separate computer, then PDF. So that's pretty much it, and I hope that helps. All right, take care.